Hey guys, Henry here, and like I said in the other video, today we'll be talking about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. Yes, I said Z instead of Z. Shark, deal with it. So now that I've made someone annoying, let's get into the video. Even though I'm a huge fan of the Fold 3 than the Flip 3, there are three things that I like about the Flip 3. And first off, or the first one is the bigger outer display. It's bigger than the previous generation. And Samsung made it way useful than it was last year, or it being big makes it way more useful than it was last year. First off, you can now take selfies with the outer display using your, your rear cameras, which will inevitably give you better quality than you would get in the inside camera or whatever, because you are taking selfies with 12 megapixels or the optimizations you get on the rear camera, yada, yada, yada. And then also you can get notifications, like your, your full on notifications, you can read notifications. You can even use Samsung Pay on the big display because wireless payments, you don't have to open your screen just to make payments. And like I, like, I really like it because now you don't have to open your screen or you don't have to open the phone to check a message you know you are definitely going to ignore. So a use case for me is I'm probably at work, I'm using this phone and then the phone is beside me, like I'm beside myself. And I get a message, I can just glance at the outer display and then know, okay, it's shark testing me because it's pissed. I am going to ignore this and then probably do that when I'm done with work. And that is very, very useful. Feature number two about the flip that I actually really like is the fact that they've improved on the hinge technology and also they've made it water resistant like the fold thing. So this hinge locks at every level, like if you are flipping the phone open, every level it locks, it has this sort of rigidness to it. So you can use it as a tripod. We live in a generation where people like making videos of themselves, making videos of stuff. And then sometimes you want to leave your phone on a table or something to record yourself or something. And then you'd always have to carry a tripod or a phone holder separately aside your phone. And if you're like me, you don't like carrying bags and stuff around, or you want to go as light as possible when you are going out or traveling, you find that annoying. But with your flip phone, you can actually open it in half, like something like so. I'll try and display a picture of it on the display. Put it on a flat surface, stand somewhere, and then do your show. You can host a YouTube channel with this phone. You don't need a tripod. Okay, maybe you need a mic, but then you don't need a tripod. You can just go out, put this phone somewhere, and you can shoot your heart out. Not like with guns, but then with a camera, because obviously we are talking about camera. But then yeah, that is a clean feature that I like. So the third one is more of an improvement than a feature on the phone, because Samsung actually did their homework and throughout the event, they mentioned how they've listened to their customers or their users, blah, blah, blah. I'm actually glad they actually did listen to us. Okay, I don't use a Samsung device, but then yeah, they listen to their users and all that kind of stuff, which is actually good. So they refined the phone, they made it better. You can now have high refresh rates on a foldable display. Something a fruits phone company haven't had on their phone for a while now, but I don't know, maybe this year they'll have it. But then that's not the case. The case here is they have high refresh rates. The phone is water resistant. The phone supports wireless charging or fast charging and then fast wireless charging. I think it supports wireless charging. I don't know. Let me let me check that. Okay, yeah, it actually does. It supports 10 watts wireless charging and it's capable of 4.5 watts reverse wireless charging on a foldable display or on a foldable phone. Like I said, our fruit brothers don't have that yet. But I what do I know? So we have all that. And then the pricing is priced around the same you would get on a flagship device like the S21 or the iPhone 12 or something. I know some there are some phones that are even expensive than the flip phone. So in this case, to me, the flip phone becomes a normal phone that just happens to fold in half, not a foldable phone that happens to open up to a phone. And that, my friends, it's one of the reasons why I like the flip three but then I still like the food over the flip, because why not? 
Thanks for watching and see you guys in my next video where I'll be talking about Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and in the general Samsung ecosystem. So see you guys in the next one. And don't forget to wear your marks out there.